Hi, welcome to scrapbook.com. Today I wanted to show you the Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Powders. These are amazing powders. They come in a variety of different colors. We have eight in our first release. And I wanted to show you a couple of different ways that you can use them. So they come in this triangular bottle. You have Green Parade, Cherry Bomb, Atlantis Burst, Catherine Wheel, Solar Flare, Blue Blitz, Storm Cloud and Violet Brocade. Now these are some of my absolute favorites. Violet uh, Brocade is my favorite color out of all of these color bursts. So they are a pigmented water activated powder. So think something like your brushes and things, but they have a mica powder included, which means you're gonna get instant shimmer. So when I start spritzing here, you can see I haven't just got blue, I have blue and pink and purple. I mean, think of the beautiful galaxy backgrounds you could create with this. You could also, if you were doing a galaxy, you could add in a little bit of the black. And so it's only going to go where there is water. So it's gonna be activated by you adding water or already having water there. So I can spritz my water to make it move into the corners. The more water you add, the lighter the colors you're going to get. So you can see there I get a lot of movement, but the color underneath is gonna be a little bit lighter. But I can go back, I can add more. So you can layer these up. I could add some blue blitz for some real, think of fireworks for New Year or 4th of July, galaxy backgrounds, which are really, really trendy at the moment. But you can see here how I'm just kind of adding things. That water's starting to pull off to the side, but you can heat, you can then reactivate. Let me grab my heat tool that I have to the side of me. This is actually my Wagner heat tool, so I'm gonna get a little bit more movement than if I use my Ranger heat tool. I have some press and seal underneath. This is a top tip here. If you put press and seal, your clear up is super, super easy. Um, I am working on the Tim Holtz glass map, but I love that when I'm done, I can take this press and seal and I can just put it straight in the bin and I don't have anything else to clear up. So this is pretty much dry. I would still dry it a little bit more if I was gonna mount it onto a card, but what you can see is you have an absolutely beautiful shimmer on top of these pigment powders and I can go in, I can add more water and reactivate. These watermarks are from having left it here. If you didn't want those, you could remove that. But my watercolor panel that I've worked on, I should mention this is just regular watercolor paper I bought at scrapbook.com. Um, I can, I always have it colored a little bit larger than card front sides because they come in bigger pieces. So I know that I would cut that off anyway to mount onto a card. I can add water and reactivate it. I can add water and add more colors in. So many different things you can do, but I absolutely adore these shimmer powders. You can also take a piece of watercolor cardstock onto your leftovers and you can pick up any of that color. Let me do that as well. And these are of course water activated. So if there's not water there, nothing is going to happen. So I can keep going in. I've got a really nice background color there that I could then add other colors to. So I could add some of the uh, Atlantis Burst, which has greens and blues. I could add some of the Green Parade, which is more just into those different shades of green. And you can see how they're just exploding onto this water. We have Solar Flare, which is your yellows. And we have Catherine Wheel, which is those coppery colors. Absolutely beautiful pinks and reds and bronzes and things in there. They all have this uh, mica powder in them. And then there's Cherry Bomb as well. So I can add that in between, which is our pinks. And I'm just using one of the Nouveau Light Mist Spray Bottles uh, just to add. And I don't want to add much water this time because I don't want any mud created. I'm gonna dry this off just a little bit so I can show you all of those different colors. So you can see here, we've got the yellows, the pinks, the greens, those coppers, absolutely beautiful colors. I love this panel, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and then here where I haven't added enough water, I still have a bit of that pigment powder left. Now I could either spritz some water and that's gonna reactivate and dissolve that powder like this. Or if, once it's completely dry, you can take your surface sweep and then just go over the top to remove 
any of that water. I'm just gonna get rid of that excess water there onto my press and seal. Thanks so much for joining us today with the Tonic Studios video here at scrapbook.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stamp the bell so you get notifications of scrapbook.com's upcoming videos. We will be back with more Tonic inspiration here on scrapbook.com and also at the Hedgehog Hollow, so we hope to see you there too. Happy stamping everyone, bye.